Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at that. My bat was a four. Because that's right. We're getting ready to go on to the next stage um, in our Evo tuning journeys. <laughs> I know. I've been out of town. Say hi to the peoples. Hi, peoples. It's been a while. I know. It has so been. what are we doing? We're doing zero to sixties in the Can Am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, we're, doing. <laughs> we're doing zero to sixties in the Can Am right now. Before we do the next two, we put that air box on a while back. I don't know uh, if you saw that video. I think it's up. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's up. By the time this video yeah. is up, it's up. <laughs> it's up now. <laughs> it's up now. At the time of this, of this and we put it on we're hoping it's good for uh uh evo i think claims five horsepower out of their v flow if i'm misquoting that let me know but i think that's the deal anyway uh we i kind of feel like if the v flow gets that that probably that 2020 air box would get it wouldn't you think oh i would think so because if the 17 air box it really chokes down Many times you load this thing, you ought to have like wheel chocks in the front. You just drive up and it locks in. I know, huh? <laughs> I did find one little kind of quick saving. Actually, sometimes, a few times I've just towed it without tying it down, but this actually has been working out pretty good. Um, this has been a while since I did it because DJ did it the last couple times. I've been doing like a like a one-legged wheel bonnet. Ah. We're gonna do one of those because we're going a short distance. We're not going to do over 80. Good morning, guys. I've missed you. It's been a little bit. We are on the move. We are getting ready to go do some 0 to 60s in the old Canam trip up there on the flatbed being pulled by my hubby, Boosty. We got the other Hoover, uh, the other crazy Mr. Hoover in the passenger seat up there, Dean Hoover. We are heading over to our uh, an undisclosed location in... Um, it doesn't matter. Anyways, what we're going to do is some 0 to 60s um, because we have another tune that we're getting ready to put on the car. Told you guys we're going all the way. So we are going to be putting a stage 4 Marina. Four Marina. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing. I know it's a 4. I'm not sure um, exactly of all the components at this point, but I know that it's going to be awesome and I'm excited about it. Camp Razor or you know the time of camp razor i don't know what's going to be happening because of the stupid ronas but um october halloween time is glamis and by then we hope to be um we hope to have some stuff going on so we will uh, just keep on tuning our happy little butts off until until it's time to hit old hill and see what kind of power we're putting down so it's been exciting it's been each tune has shown like a lot of improvement you can feel it too so let's go see what today has in store we're going to do the zero to 60s get those baseline numbers for you of where we're at right now and then we'll put the next tune on and uh, we'll take you with us all the way what we're doing is that's uh 2020 airbox on the on the 17 that the 2020 our our airbox on a 17 and we're gonna go find out if it made any difference on the draggy that's what, right any predictions uh i i'd say well i think the weather's going to be the biggest difference it's nice cool morning uh, compared to your last run actually i think when we did the four three we did a four three seven out here i think it might have been similar weather yeah i'm not sure it might have been a little warm but i think it was similar weather so i that's what i've been shooting for is to, to get this you know because we came out and ran it uh on on uh 
a cool morning if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. But we got a 437 that's on the uh, 3WRI on 93 octane, that Evo tune. And the only thing we did was change that airbox. Yeah, I and mean, you know, it's not just the choke down between the airbox and the turbo. Exactly. But also where the air goes into the airbox. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, the airbox itself is bigger. The uh, inlet from the pre filter to the airbox is yes. bigger. The um, outlet from the airbox to the turbo is bigger. It only chokes down where it's going into the turbo because it has to to fit the turbo, but the outlet from the turbo or from the airbox itself to the turbo yes yeah, is much much bigger that's what and that's really all the b flow is yeah i think the the next thing we got to try is just putting a uni right on the turbo yeah right <laughs> right why not do it do it <laughs> blow it up or go home or something whatever all right we'll be back okay we are getting ready to do some zero to 60s in the canam uh, um, i don't know what's going to be after the stage four i don't know what kind of special stuff or what tricks my hubby has in store but i do know that it's going to be awesome and i'm excited so i am at one end of the track here um just waiting to uh to see how how this car sounds i haven't seen him rip in a while i haven't haven't heard the sound of him i haven't felt any seat time so pretty stoked don't have much time but i'm gonna enjoy the time i have so here we go i hear the sound of my baby approaching i would recognize that sound anywhere look Let's see what we sound like right now, what we look like, and what the numbers are. Okay, this time we're gonna do four wheel drive action. He likes to start in two. Four, five, six, and two wheel drive, zero to 60, verified by Draggy. So now we go. Ready. two-wheel drive that way oh uh, four five six not bad so let's see what we got coming back this way definitely got grippage yeah definitely got grippage um did you hit 60 coming back yeah uh what do we got going here let me check this history zero to 60. uh four three six no way So really? we hit a 437 without the airbox. Oh. So we'll try it again. So definitely some improvement so far. Yeah, I mean, see if, if we can stay 43 consistent in that range, it's an improvement because that 436 was best out of all runs. Yes. Uh, On stage three, 436. Yeah. Not bad.
Okay, so it sounds like it's running strong. We're running, like I said, on a 3 RWI. We got 93 octane. We got the 2020 air box that was just put on. That's the difference between what you, the last run that we did. Um, he did a, in two wheel drive, a four, five, six verified by Draggy. So let's, I don't know what the four wheel drive numbers are because that was on the other end. Where you be? What happened? I think I goofed that launch a little bit. We'll see. Well, what was the one on the way back? I don't even know that one yet. The four wheel uh, drive. Well, four, three, six. Four, three, six. Okay, nice. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at that. Uh, that was a 429. 429 verified. Yeah? 429 valid. Wow, and you so goofed the launch. So definitely, oh man, four twos. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Again, again. One more time or that's it. So you can come down there. Okay. Best number yet that I'd heard. I don't know what that one was. He thought he goofed the launch on the 429. We had a 456 and two-wheel drive. Crazy. We had a 436 on the first four-wheel drive run. And I think then a 429 on the third. And that was the last one. So let's go find out what that was. I'm about to do my zero to 60 out here. Um, it will, of course, be unverified. But ready? Are you guys ready? I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Here we go. <laughs> coming back yet but going down really good number you know it looks like it's a slightly uphill going that way so going that way we got a uh, 429 no way yeah so our, look at our average 436 429 438 so we got a 429 going this way 438 coming back really? so I'm gonna say given the average there's an improvement on the airbox for sure yeah not to mention we hit uh, uh, almost a tenth of a second faster. What's your zero to ten, zero to twenty? Uh, four, eight, zero to ten. Wow. Uh, zero to twenty is nine, three. We'll have to compare to that last. I'll compare these to that last run. But definitely airbox improvement. Yes. I kind of felt like it was uh, based on the um, black marks in front of my house. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it, it blew smoke. The, the, I've not seen blue smoke off of these big horns on asphalt, and I did after they were about. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's a Air win. Box. So if you know anybody that's going to get rid of their 2020 RR airbox, grab it from them. Yeah. What was that one? 438. Four, three, eight. So, yeah, that's good numbers. The average is really good. That airbox made a difference. We got 437, right, uh, 436 right off the bat. So already a hundredth faster than before. We got a 429, Two which is almost a tenth faster than before. Yeah. And then we got a 438 coming back to back it up. Tell me what the uh, what the benefit of the airbox is. What is that? Why is that giving you a little it more power? It just flows more air. So the 2020 airbox is a redesign for 2020 by Can-Am, and they made the box bigger. It holds more air initially, so when you push the throttle, there's already a gulp of air there for you. The intake from the pre-filter to the in, to the airbox itself is bigger. Okay. It's oval and bigger around. Uh, and then the outlet from the air, air box, it's the same air filter, but the outlet, for, outlet from the air box itself is much bigger, like the V-Flow. Uh, Evolution Power Sports have, has a product called V-Flow, and what they do is they open up that outlet from the air box, and that this one already has that. Okay. And then, of course, it necks down to the size of the And this is the one we got from Kenny Reed. Kenny Reed, back to the back desert. Back to the desert, dude. Yeah. Thank you. It definitely up. made a difference. I'm going to call it a tent, uh, pretty pretty damn close to a tenth. You just picked, up a, picked this up a tenth from the zero to 60. That's huge. Okay guys, so we did baseline numbers on our Can-Am just now, so that prior to our next tune, we're gonna be on stage four. I don't know exactly what is, uh, what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be cool. 
So thank you guys for watching. As always, it is much, much appreciated. Um, if you haven't subscribed, why? You're here, just please do it. It does help us, it really does. So we appreciate all of you that have subscribed and all of you that are about to subscribe right now. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, Camp Razor's on its way, so we're gonna be double timing it until we get all the way up to the big turbo. So we'd love for you guys to be uh, join us on that journey. Speaking of that, links below to our Facebook group, Dandy Off-Road Adventure Seekers, where we can have more of a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you guys because that's what we love to do. Leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like what we're doing, then just hit that hit that dislike button two times and we'll know how much you hate it. Um, but uh, until then, see you guys in the sand, hopefully soon. Peace. 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 Dude, I could, almost couldn't do this, Dean Hoover. He's just rolling around <laughs> like, <laughs> not laughing. He's going around in circles. <laughs>